It feels like Google has been around forever, answering our questions and guiding us through the internet. But now there's a challenger that will change the way we see those answers. You see, Google has long shown us a page of links, which is great. We can then decide what link to click on to get the information. But sometimes the page you click on gives an imperfect answer, or doesn't really answer the question at all. Sometimes all we want is a straight answer with no mucking around. That's where Perplexity AI comes in. But what is Perplexity AI? Perplexity AI stands as a pioneering AI-powered search engine and chatbot leveraging sophisticated technologies like natural language processing and machine learning to furnish users with precise and comprehensive responses to their searches. Established in 2022 by Andy Komwinski, Aravind Srinivas, Dennis Yaratz and Johnny Ho, the genesis of Perplexity AI emerged from the quartet's collective tenure at Google AI, where they grappled with the challenge of accessing and using the knowledge embedded within large language models, the perfect place to learn. Motivated by this challenge, they embarked on a venture to develop a platform that would tackle this issue head on. Headquartered in the Bay Area in San Francisco and funded by several VC firms, Perplexity AI is well backed. They raised a $2 million seed round of funding in 2022 and raised a further $26 million in Series A in 2023, reaching 10 million monthly visits and 2 million unique visitors. The name Perplexity was meticulously chosen to encapsulate the company's overarching mission of furnishing users with apt and illuminating responses to even the most convoluted or perplexing queries. Sounds simple enough. Their ethos revolves around democratizing access to knowledge, thereby facilitating seamless learning and exploration across diverse topics. Perplexity, therefore, is essentially a smart search function that gives you a direct answer to your question rather than a series of links like Google. They have a co-pilot feature, which is an interactive AI search companion to clarify your questions, run multiple searches at the same time, and summarize the results for the user so you get your answer faster and with more accuracy. But wait a second, why would you use Perplexity AI instead of Google or ChatGPT? Google is so imprinted into our brains as the main search engine to use, and has been for years. To Google something is a verb, it's literally written into our language. So why would anyone use anything different? Well, Perplexity is not only fast, but it does a great job of figuring out good search terms to use, sometimes better than what the user searched in the first place. And it searches multiple things at once to compile the best possible answer. Unlike other AI, Perplexity is transparent and shows the sources from which it gained the information, meaning users can determine its accuracy for themselves. It can nudge you with related questions to keep the conversation and education going, but it also can search specific sites like YouTube or Reddit, which is particularly helpful, especially in the modern landscape where the general public struggle to trust mainstream media. But still, the drawback is you don't choose where your information comes from, which not everyone will agree with. Perplexity AI emerges as a potential Google killer. With smart answers and guided responses, your questions are answered faster with fewer clicks, giving you some of your time back. But Google has so much brand power, and knocking it off top spot will be tough. Maybe those who want quick answers will get a kick out of using Perplexity AI, but what's stopping Google from doing the same thing? You would think that a company with the brand power and size of Google could create something fairly quickly that would put Perplexity back in its place and stop its rise in popularity. After all, Perplexity AI has over 2.7 million monthly searches on Google. Let's just say yes, Google could. Google already has the search function and it has the AI companion to go with it in Gemini. Let's just say Google needs to iron out a few Gemini kinks first. 